Hi. In this lesson, we will learn how to allow only numbers or only text or only alphabet inside Excel range. If you only allow numbers, it means number is only allowed, but if you try text, so it's not allowed. But in text, if you try numbers, it's not allowed. If you try text, it's allowed. But if you try text with numbers, it's allowed. Because for Excel, this is a text. In alphabet means only A, B, C, till Z is allowed. So if I try to combine letters with numbers, it is not allowed. Let's start from scratch. So here we have the exact same range. To allow only numbers and just select the range and go to data, data validation, allow custom, and let's check if it is number in my first cell. So now, number is allowed while text is not allowed. To allow only text is exactly the same, so just select the range, go to data validation, allow only custom, and just check if is text in the first cell. Of course, you can add the error message from here, something like only text. So now text is allowed, numbers is not allowed, but combination between text and number is allowed. How to allow alphabet only? Uh, to do so, let me explain in details what I intend to do. If I have uh, a value here, let's say text, I need to spell it out uh, to be letter by letter. Then I need to check each one if it is alphabet or not. To do so, we are going to use is number, some product, search, mid, len, and indirect. Yes, we are going to use all of this. So let's start. I'm going to use indirect with a row to return an array of numbers. So if this Four, I need to return one, two, three, four. If there's five letters, I need to return one till five, and so on. So if I indirect one, one till the end of length of this text. So if I indirect one till four, it means I need to copy the whole content of four rows. I don't need to do so. Only I need is the number of the row. So I'm going to put indirect inside row. Let me move this one to be here. So now if I have three letters, I have one, two, three. If I have four, I have one, two, four. If I have five, I have one, two, five. Now I need to find the first letter, the second letter, and so on. So I'm going to use med and go to my text and return the first one, the second one. And each time I need only one character. So whatever text I have here, it would become letter by letter here. Now I need to check if this letter is allowed or no. So I'm going to search this text inside my allow text. So I'm going to allow a, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I. So if it is available, I will get a number. So W is letter 23 and so on. I, I, I don't care about the number. All I, I, I care about is it a number or no. I don't need to return an array. I need to return only one value. So. As long as I have all numbers here, I'm going to sum product all this number to get only one value. Now, I have only one value. I can check this value is number or not. So if this value is a number, it means my text is allowed. If it's not a number, it means it's not allowed. 
So as long as I have alphabet here, it is true. Once I have any other number or even uh, an icon or a symbol, it is false. Now I can take this formula, use it here. But of course, instead of A2, I'm going to refer to the first cell in my range. So it is H4 in this case. Now I can select this range. Let, let me copy the new formula. Now I can select this range. Go to data, data validation, allow a custom, and I'm going to paste it here. Now, if it is alphabet, it is allowed. If it is letter, it's not allowed. If it is a combination between letter and numbers, it is not allowed. That's it.